Hi there, I've been asked to show you how you can take a digi image and put it onto a background, <coughs> excuse me, in Craft Artist, but still um, be able to colour it in afterwards. This could only be done with a JPEG, uh, where you've got a white background, and you then would need to cut away the white edges on your JPEG um, to allow you to have the background behind it. For instance, let me show you, uh, it would probably be easier. On this sheet here I have got my background that I want to use and I've chosen a digi image so I'm going to right click on my mouse and press paste and this is the, dimi the digi image that I want to use. As you can see the inside of the elephant is fine, it's nice and white ready for colouring. The outside I need to remove. Now to do that you can actually go into Cutout Studio up here in Craft Artist. It is a long process, you need a lot of patience. There is a much easier way. The way I prefer is to use paintnet.com. This program is a free downloadable program and you can get it by just putting paintnet.com into your Google search and when you've done so you should come up with the site freeloaderstoolkit.com and here you will be able to download PaintNet for free. Once you've got it downloaded, open up the program. You've copied your image and all you need to do then is paste it and use the option to expand the canvas. Okay, so we've got our image in paintnet.com. Over here I've got my toolbars um, you can get these very simply by going in and uh, to view or you, oh dear, it's a long time since I've used these. Um, let's see. Tools, here we go, under Windows. So that's where you'll find them. So when you've got your little toolbar up here, I'm going to use the one called Magic Wand. So click on that one and you'll see that your image has gone a pale blue. Up here as well you've got the tolerance bar. Now I'm going to bring that all the way down to probably 6 or 8. The reason for this is on a digit image some of your lines aren't completely uh, meeting and therefore you've got gaps that the colour can flow into. So if I click outside the elephant what you can see now is all the bits that will be deleted and made into a transparent background. So if I press delete, you'll see that those bits have now gone. And what I'm left with is, an, is a, a ping image, but it still has um, the insides white. For instance, let's just undo that for a second. Okay, if I was to increase the tolerance, and click on the outside, press delete. The only thing that I'd be left with that is a solid line is an ear here, a leg and a tail. That I don't want because then when you take it into Craft Artist your background that you've chosen is going to show through. So we want to keep that white. So let's undo it again and reduce the tolerance back down. Let's even try, let's try 10. You can always go back and do it again and I'm going to press delete. Before I do so, all these little bits here can be uh, removed later um, and in fact you'll find that once you've put them on top of your background paper you won't even notice them. So let's just do that and I'm going to hit the delete key. Okay. Um, if you choose this select, rectangle select and just go over some of the areas um, in the transparent squares and hit delete some of those little bits will now be deleted. However, while I've got the, re the rectangle select on I'm just going to crop this a little bit more. So I'm going to pick an area, drag out my rectangle, yep that looks good, 
come up to the top and you've got a crop to selection option which I'm going to press. Okay so I've got rid of more of those transparent um, pieces on the outside and my image is now a lot closer. That's good so let's save it. File, save as, choose where you want to save it. I've already saved this once already so I'm going to save it as Baby Nelly. Yes, and I'm going to just replace that. And when your safe configuration window comes up, don't alter anything, just press OK. Alright, you can now drop paint not, uh, net down. Let's come back to Craft Artist. We'll get rid of the JPEG that we had. And we're now going to find our new image. And I've saved that under Craft Artist <coughs> and Images and Toppers. So I'm going to copy that, come back, right click and paste. Okay, and there you've got your um, elephant without the white on the outside, but when you printed that off, it would all be ready for um, colouring in. I hope that helps. If there's any other questions, um, then please ask. The one thing you might well ask is how you get a ping image to have white bits on the inside ready for colouring. Um, if you wish to know that, then please ask.